I just want to do a quick recording. Um, this is completely unscripted. I hope my passion for this work comes through. It's been a dream of mine. <sighs> Let's see, since I was maybe a junior in college to eventually have my own art center in my community. Um, so almost almost 20 years of that dream. Um, and I definitely see a need for it here in the area that I'm in, in Goose Creek, um, the Sedgefield area. There are no parks or anything close by to where I'm at. My daughter and children cannot, you know, go to a park to play or any kind of center or anything just in the neighborhood. So I really would love to be able to find a space um, you know, on this side of the tracks, um, on the side where the neighborhoods are that kids could easily access. I'm asking Habitat for Humanity to possibly help me if I could find volunteers and a space, um, build a new space, or if there's a space available, which is going to be my greatest hurdle because I have the skills, the education, I have networks, um, and interested artists. Uh, I just need a space to hold these classes and events um, for my community. It's a passion of mine. I love it. I'll always be doing this work no matter what comes of this. Um, whether I found a space of my own or not, I'll still work out of other people's spaces until I can find my own space. And I really appreciate everyone who shares and donates um, to this project. It's a passion of mine. It's my heart and soul. I'm dedicated to this work. Uh, I will never give it up. Any funds that are donated here will go to the arts, hopefully towards um, a space for the arts. But if for some reason I can't make my goal or close to my goal or find a space, I will definitely be using every bit of this money to bring the arts to my community in some way, whether that means rent using it to rent a different space or to do private lessons for kids in need uh, whatever i can think of or whatever my community comes to me in need of so i just wanted to share a little bit about that um, and i uh, actually hold my master's in community arts so if you want to know a little bit about me that's where my um, education is i went to maryland institute college of art and we did education, we did curriculums, so I've been teaching art for almost 20 years um, in various community settings. Um, I helped um, co-create a art space in Baltimore, Maryland, and that was just some of the best years of my life. Um, I had to come back to my home, to my mother and my, my abuela and my sister here in South Carolina. Uh, and I really wanted to bring the arts to these communities because, you know, it's very much needed. I miss Baltimore and the work I did there, and I keep in touch and follow along and see what the beautiful work that they're doing. Um, the community center there is thriving. It's beautiful. It's got, you know, multiple generations coming through there, kids that I worked with are now teaching there. Um, I have a lot of the same dreams for uh, what I could create here in South Carolina, in Goose Creek, in my community, uh, where I see this desperate, desperate need for it. Um, so I hope you feel my passion and will support my work in whatever way you can. I don't want this video to get too long. And um, yeah, so feel free to message me, ask me any questions you have. Um, I could talk about this stuff all day, so thank you all, I love you all, thank you for your support, uh, and I really look forward to seeing this through to fruition, I'm, I'm so excited to finally be living this dream, thanks, have a great day.